it was the, the smallest, you could sort of just about afford with your pocket money. I think they were that, you know, less than a dollar was the smallest ones, but then they went up in size, kind of like Lego, Legos. You know? <laughs> For a birthday, you might get a really big aircraft carrier or something. You know? But so, yeah, and, then, and I did love, uh, I was very industrious. You know, I could amuse myself for hours with these things. The, the way you had uh, talked about it really sounded like it, it had tapped into something that was, it was really something that you loved so much when you were young. And so it made me wonder, had you not gone into being a musician with Duran Duran, what do you think you would have done? I don't know, something with models. <laughs> <laughs> Industrial design. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess you've got to be, um, you've got to be fairly self-sufficient, you know, and enjoy your own company. It's not a team sport. You know, it's something that you just do. It's very deliberate and, um, and it, it, it's kind of results-oriented because you want it to look good when it's finished. But, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I've always had a thing for the arts, you know. I've always had a thing for graphics and, you know, and, and beauty and design. Um, I mean, it was the beginning. I mean, again, in the book, you know, I talk about, and then I went, I went from building model aircraft into modeling soldiers, and uh, but not soldiers from the Second World War. I got into soldiers from the Napoleonic era, and that was really fancy. You know, you would the the, the uniforms from the 19th century were gorgeous. You know, really cool and interesting. And uh, I would mix in uh, talcum powder with the, with, with the paint, you know, to give it that kind of cloth effect. But we're getting into serious <laughs> paint spots. <laughs> I can feel my cool is kind of going. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and it's all in the book, of course. But, um, you know, I will say that that, uh, that, that inheritance of the... Uh, you know, the influence of the Napoleonic uniform. I, I've just about got over it now. And it, it, it still creeps into, um, you know, whenever we're putting a tour together, you know, and we're, and we're, and we're getting the, uh, we're figuring out what, the, what we're going to look like this time around, you know. Uh, what, what's going to be the outfit for this tour? You know, what's, this, what's the lighting going to be like? What's the stage set? And what are we going to wear? And it's like, John, are you going to do that uniform thing? <laughs> Can we move on, please? <laughs>